what's up guys today's a cool day I guess uh, I'm gonna be getting my second dose of uh, the COVID vaccine yeah there it is uh, we'll see how it goes I finally decided to take the vaccine I was kind of hesitant about it for a while but after reading the research listening to the experts Mm, I think it'd be a pretty good idea. They just better not put any chips in there. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Supposedly the second dose hits you harder. Hopefully it doesn't hit me too hard though. But that's okay because that's just your body producing antibodies and stuff. So, All right. Got my second vaccine right there. I don't know, I feel like, I feel just whatever, just like everybody else out there. Get vaccinated, at least I know I won't get super sick where I'd have to get hospitalized. But yeah, hopefully the side effects aren't too bad for me. Deuces. Hey, what's up guys? So now it's been about a week after my second dose of the Moderna vaccine. I um, just want to talk about my experience with it after the second dose. Yeah, so after the first dose, all I had was a really sore arm. I mean, it was actually super sore. Like, I, I couldn't lift up my left arm. I got it on, the, I got the shot on the left arm. Like, I can't move it up past, like, my shoulder height. But that was about it. I felt a little bit of chills, but it wasn't that bad. I was still able to um, go on about my day now. The second dose of vaccine, it's supposed to hit you harder, right? Because uh, now your body have already recognized um, the spike protein that they give you. So when they give you the second dose, your body is, about, uh, is able to amp up the immune system to produce all of that antibodies. So I got the second dose of vaccine on a Friday. Let's just say around 12 noon. I got it. Um, between 11.30 and 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And then that night, I want to say around 10 p.m., I started feeling the chills coming. And I was just like, okay, here we go, right? Here comes the symptoms. I started feeling the chills. And when I went to bed at around midnight, 1 a.m., I had the chills. I'm like, oh, shoot, my feet are cold. My hands are cold. And I just had the chills. And then the headache started coming. It was pretty mild in the beginning. Then I tried to sleep. I couldn't sleep. And as the night went on, the headache got worse. And I was like, oh man, I can't sleep because of the headache. Like I would stay in one position and I had this headache and the headache will eventually go away. But then I'll kind of turn to another position and then the headache would come back. So that night, that Friday night, Saturday morning, I did not get any sleep. Like I... I woke up probably every like two hours because of the headache. Now, I wanted to take Motrin, but then at the same time, Motrin is an anti-inflammatory, right? It's supposed to um, kind of suppresses your immune system a little bit too. It's not, it's not what you want. You don't want to suppress your immune system. You kind of want your immune system to actually, you know, build up these antibodies. So I didn't take any Motrin. Oh, actually, I lied. I did. Saturday morning when I woke up, I couldn't sleep because of the headache. It was just so bad. I was like, ah, screw it. I'll just take some Motrin. I didn't have any Tylenol or anything with me. So I just took Motrin hoping I can get some good sleep. Man, Saturday was bad for me. Um, I had chills. I had headaches. I had body aches. And I had fatigue. Um, I just felt like I had no energy the whole day. I'm like, Man, I had no energy. I, I, you know, I woke up at around, I finally got up at around like maybe 11 a.m., 12 p.m. on Saturday. I'm like, you know what? Let me just take a shower. Maybe if I take a shower, I'll feel a little bit more refreshed and I'll be good. Nah, man. I still had the chills, still had the body aches, still had fatigue. So Saturday, literally, I laid out the whole day. My mom came over. I told my mom, I'm so sorry, I have no energy. So, But she just hung out with my wife, which is good, but I just had no energy to do anything. But at the same time, I figured 
you know, that's just my body's immune response, right? Because my body's trying to fight this foreign thing and it's building up immunity and it's, it's, it's getting familiar with this spike protein that they put in me. Even though I felt like I was sick, like I got the cold, I knew it wasn't because of the cold, it's because of the vaccine. And I knew it was just going to pass after like 24 hours. So yeah, so the whole Saturday, I, I, I just laid out. Basically, I rested, I laid out, um, ate, drank a lot of water, just had no energy for anything. I was able to sleep Saturday night a little better though. I was able to fall asleep and Sunday morning I woke up, I felt a lot better. I felt like I was getting my energy back, not full, but I was able to go out, grocery shop. I had the energy to do that, but I didn't have any headaches. I didn't have any chills. I started to feel better. By Sunday afternoon, I want to say like 2 p.m., 3 p.m., I felt pretty much back to normal. And by Monday, I was good. I was back to work. Um, so that's my experience with the Moderna vaccine. Um, so I thought, man... How, well, why did it hit me pretty hard? And then I talked to some people, some of my coworkers, and some people it didn't hit them very hard. Some people did. So you just kind of wonder if if it hits you hard, does that mean your immune system is really strong? Because it's so strong, you know, it's like boom, it's boosting up all these uh, antibodies, and you know, it's trying to fight it. That it knocks you out because it's using all your energy to fight this thing. Or, you know, if you didn't get the symptoms that bad, did it really work? Did your body really um, produce as much antibodies as you wanted to? I don't know the answer to that. I haven't even looked it up. I haven't re read up on it. That's just a question that just kind of popped in my head. To me, it makes logical sense. Because if your body is going to try to fight anything, it's going to use all that energy to fight this infection. That's why you feel fatigued. That's why you feel tired because, you know, your body's using up all that energy to fight this infection. Um, so, yeah, that is my experience with the Moderna vaccine. Even though I'm vaccinated, still have to wear masks out in public because, you know, out of respect to others. Because, you know, you can still spread it. You can still catch it. Even though the likelihood of me getting COVID in a very serious state is very, very, very low. I mean, it's cool that I'm vaccinated, but we'll see in the next year. If we start hearing people who have been vaccinated and they are hospitalized because of COVID of the new strains, then that's, that's going to be something else that you sh we, sh we should be worried about because then what the heck do we do? Do we start another vaccine with this new strand or... We'll just have to see that in the next coming year to see if that does come up. All right. So that's my experience with the COVID vaccine. Uh, if you want to get it, get it. Uh, if you do want to get the COVID vaccine, hopefully you get one soon. Hopefully we all can get one soon. I decided to take it. If you don't want to take it, that's your own choice. Hey, that's the beautiful thing about this country, right? You can do whatever you want. But I think the only freedom you should not have is you should not have the freedom to take or damage another person's property or life. That's it. And other than that, hey, you have the freedom of choice. All right, until next time, man. Bye-bye.